Hi everyone and welcome in this new video tutorial. Today we are going to see how to create an Instagram feed on your website. So there is many plugins out there. I found one that I really like. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys the tutorial. So I'm going in my admin panel of WordPress and you can have any page builder. Uh, you can even you know, use WordPress without any anything and this works on all WordPress website. I usually use Elementor, but you guys can use whatever you want. This will always work. So the first thing is going to search for the plugin. So I'm going to plugins. As you can see, I have Elementor and Elementor Pro. By the way, um, I really suggest those two plugins. You can find in the description of the video the link to download uh, the Pro version. And also, if you want to know more about my hosting, uh, you can just check the description. Anyway, let's add our plugin. So the plugin is called Spotlight. So I found this uh, Googling, uh, you know, some good plugins and I feel that this one is one of the best one out there. And as you can see, um, more than 10,000 active uh, installations and um, last update one month ago. So I feel that this is really a good plugin. So I'm just going to click install now right here. Let's wait. Great. Just click on activate. Perfect. So what I suggest you guys is to log in your Instagram profile from the web browser. So you just go on Instagram.com. You just log in and you should have your, uh, you know, your Instagram page here. You can edit your profile settings and whatever. Uh, once you are logged in, uh, just go on the plugin, clicking on feed here. And here you will be asked if you want, you know, important updates or whatever. I usually skip that. So click on skip. Great. Now to start uh, connecting your Instagram account, you just need to click on this blue button, connect your Instagram account. And then he will ask you if you have a personal account, if you have a business account. Uh, or connect without a login so by token so in my case i'm going to use a personal account as my account is uh, personal uh, you can check this from the app so just go on the settings of the app on your mobile phone and you can check if you are a personal account or business account anyway i will connect with my personal account right away and now i have a pop-up asking me that um, the plugin needs some information from my instagram um, feed so I just click on allow and let's wait. After a few seconds, your account is connected. This is so great because everything now is synced, synched, I don't know how to say that, synchronized. And, um, and yeah, so uh, no, maybe letter and let's get um, you know, to the settings. So as you can see here, you have a little tick called pro features. I think that uh, by default, you should have this ticked. But if you don't want to see any pro options, you just click on here. And right now you see only the free version. So you're only using the free uh, features of the plugin, right? So uh, we can check from here the preview the device. We can check it from the tablet. We can check it from the phone. So you can see the design uh, based on the device uh, you're using. So the first thing uh, for free, I will keep you know the grid layout. That's the standard one. You can choose the number of posts per page and the number of columns. If I put four columns, as you can see, the feed is smaller, but I have more content. So I will keep it like with three number of columns and then i can also change the post order this is so great i mean this is my favorite feature of the plugin because you can actually add your most popular um you know um, pictures or videos in the front so i have my most popular content here and looks amazing so you can choose whatever you want if you want to keep the most recent or you know uh, random so that people get on your page every time see you know looks like they are seeing new content anyway I, i'm keeping the, the most recent first um so yeah you can choose uh, open the post in pop-up box new tab or same tab i usually click on pop-up box 
and uh, yeah depends if you want people to you know jump in your uh, Instagram profile link or or not so I usually keep it pop-up box to keep them on my website uh, appearance you can change um, the feed width, the height, you know, the padding, you can change whatever you want here, uh, the text size, the background color, so you have a ton of options. Uh, you can also show, you know, on hover the likes and comments, you can tick or untick this, uh, and yeah, so I will leave you, you know, play around with this, you can also click on header, and as you can see, you can show the account here, and you also can show multiple feed if you want. But anyway, if you click on this, you just show the images and you can, you know, edit the title as you want with Elementor, for example. But I will keep this uh, for now like that. And yeah, you can change the header text color, the text size, um, the custom bio text. You can do whatever you want. You can also change, uh, you know, your profile page. As you can see, there is no profile, um, profile image here. You can choose one, a custom photo, and you can upload it right away so um, what we are going to do right now so follow button you can also change the color of the follow button here um, or you can change also the hover effect as you can see when you go on your uh, button there is a hover effect and this the color the text color so it's pretty uh, simple the load button load more button is at the end load more and you can uh, you know change the text load more now for example as you can see it's uh, changed here and you can change the color too and the border radius as you want so let's import uh, this in your page the first thing we need to do is to save everything so we need to click on save when we finished you know to edit um, all the settings uh, just click on save here you just call it insta feed for example okay and click save so now uh, our feed is saved we can actually uh, start you know embedding everything so if I click on embed here you will find uh, a short code um, called Instagram feed 84 you can copy this and now we can add it to our page or post so let's go on our pages I don't have any page here if you have you know some existing page click on them otherwise you can add a new one I will call it um, feed or you know about me and I will edit it with Elementor otherwise if you don't have Elementor you can just click on here click on here and spotlight you can search it here or just click on this and as you can see it will add it right away um, if you are using Elementor, I'm removing this block right now, if you are using Elementor, you can click Edit with Elementor. So I'm in my Elementor page about me, I usually go on Settings and remove the head title, title sorry, the hide the title, or you know, page layout um, depends on your settings, I usually keep the default one, and just click on the plus, just click on this box here, and when you click on this little icon here, this plus button here, you can search for a widget. So I'm going to click add, sorry, I'm going to add short code. Click on this, drag it here. Oops, just drag it here. And as you can see, uh, you can enter the short code here on the left. I just paste the short code I uh, copied uh, before and now you are not seeing anything this because you need to go on preview change this little icon here you just click that it will opens a new tab and this is the you know the preview of the page and everything looks working fine that's awesome so if i click on this picture i can navigate through picture by the arrows and yeah that's that's all if i click on follow on instagram it opens a new page um, of course the Instagram page of, uh, of your own and yeah that's all that's how you implement um, you know uh, Instagram feed in a quick way and I really like the design and the option um, this plugin is providing you so I'm going back here I just published the page when I finished uh, and yeah you can have a look and that's all 
So I hope the tutorial was useful guys and if you want to see more videos like that just subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I put online a new video. So um, if you like the video of course click the like button and leave a comment if you want to you know share your thoughts or just suggest a new tutorial. Have fun and see you in the next video.